and uh, Centauri and Federation are also uh, moving away and removing the non-human element, what, what goes against the regulation and spatial uh, agreements. But as they say, one of the reasons, only one, one of the reasons why the liberation must come from within is because if it's not done, if it's not inspired and if it's not a result of our own inner change, then the liberation and the change will not be permanent. If it's you guys understand, we are the creators of our reality. They can blow up and kill and do whatever they want. That doesn't change anything because we create the earth. It comes from the collective minds of the human race. Oh, okay. They'll take away the non-human element. They'll deal with it on the planet. And that's what they've been doing. So, okay, stop with the victim mentality. Put down the dogma. Stop waiting for the devil to come eat you, is what they're trying to say. And stop with, you, you're wasting your energy on this earth. When you realize that to change your universe, it, number one, stop using fluoridated toothpaste. Spend good money on cleaning up your water. Stop eating processed foods, they said. Anything GMO is absolutely detrimental to your avatar. A complete and utter removal from your diet. The government doesn't tell you what's GMO. We must make the government conform. We want full disclosure on GMO foods. Everything must be labeled. You're killing me. I, and still not enough movement. So, so the world has to be focused. If you want to change the world, the number one focus in the world is diet. Anything GMO must be labeled as such so that people can have a conscious choice about what they're going to put into their body. That is the greatest fight across the earth, the beginnings. Like, yeah, I guess so. When your temple begins to become purified, all these processed foods taken out of your diet back to fruits and vegetables, grains, in a, in a basic natural state, the way God would have made it, if you will, then your temple would change from within and your outside universe will automatically begin to unblur itself. You'll see the universe the way it's intended to be seen. Your pineal gland will begin to work again. Pure, clean water. Great money spent on water. Water, water, water. No more sodas and colas with sugar. Sugar is synthetic. We're all talking about alien takeovers. Like, now you don't get it. You, don't, you have the power to take care of your entire universe. If you don't want aliens and demons in your realm, say no. And it is so. You are the creator of your reality. Again, they're trying to empower the world. You are the one that brings in the demon. You manifest it into your reality because you're led around. You don't get, take control of your mind. And you don't realize the power of the human mind of creation, defense, everything in this world, what you can do. And why you don't is because of your diet. You're starting to see a shift a little bit around the earth. A lot of recalls on food, a lot of companies going bankrupt, CEOs stepping down, people dying randomly all over. Yeah, there's a reason. It's all part of the rebuild and reconstruction of the earth. It's just done in silence in the background. But those with eyes to see will start looking at the news and catching the... Uh, again, if you know what you're looking for and what you're doing, you'll, you'll see the miracles taking place. If this cabal doesn't belong here, you will just see one day the Rothschild fortune being given away to charity. Oh, that's what you will see. Yeah, if, if you don't belong to this earth, your wealth belongs to the people of earth one way or another, is what they're trying to say. It's not our fight. There's nothing we can do about it there, but again, getting rid of the Fed in America. It's the people's money. The Fed should be, and all around the world, all reserves must be government controlled. Therefore, any interest, it all goes back to the people. It doesn't go to some alien entities that use it to control the world. The world had a chance back in, you know, the 1% the march, but they didn't know what they were marching about. The will of the people will determine if there's a federal reserve on this planet. They have no right to do this. They're taking away your future. $400 billion a year in interest alone in America getting siphoned out of the nation, paying the uh, cabal or the Federal Reserve if you don't want to believe in aliens. But $400 billion a year, that should be reinvested back into America. That's why your nation is rotting to the core when it comes to infrastructure. I'm not saying Canada's any better, guys, but I'm being a realist. I was working in America. I saw that I was terrified going over most of the bridges down there. And many Americans were like, yeah, like, I don't get it. We used to have the best of everything. I, yeah. Until aliens, the Federal Reserve, you're like, oh, yeah, okay, right? There's a reason. But if it's being dealt with, it's the, you know, and I realize that uh, with Trump, he is making a change. Don't get me wrong. I foresee the nuclear war coming at the end of this. That's all I'm concerned about. I care about the people, not its leadership. I'm giving it the warnings of the prophets and working with their timelines. Preparation for a horrible war in the West. The year after the pestilence comes, 
that young old beast so terribly strange. Blood, fire, mercury, Mars, Jupiter in France. Nothing more. I don't have an agenda. Uh, you know, I, but I see the problems in this world. The greatest problem is the world revolves around money and the people don't have any. All the nations are going bankrupt. There's obviously a problem. There's going to have to be a line in the sand on this planet about the people taking back their future. The problem is with the people, you are controlled by chemtrails. They're very clear about that on her channel. Yes, the 5G is controlling your mind. It's sending out frequencies. There are people willingly taking the mark of the beast, which the Bible warns you against. Oh, you're completely and totally controlled by the artificial intelligence. Get it out of your home. Turn off your phones. Take out the batteries. Stop using smart TVs. Get rid of all the fluoride in your house. Never touch another bottle of water on the earth that's got fluoride in it. Don't use plastic bottles. There's chemicals in there. Right? Lifestyle changes. If you alone do that for you and your family, you've already changed the world in ways that you can't imagine. Okay? Stop eating meat. The big one. Massive one across this earth that the world can't understand. You're like, well, we need it for... You don't need it. You were never supposed to eat it. And the problem is, is that 2D second density creations, 2D reality, are the animals. They have consciousness just like humans. It's not a sentient soul the way you would understand. It's the beginnings of consciousness. You guys know it. Look at your damn cats and your dogs. There's a soul in there. You know that. 90% of the world that's got a pet would know there's a soul. Now, you look at a cow because it doesn't love you and lick you and kiss you. It doesn't mean there's any less of a soul, is what they're trying to say. So there's karma there. Yes, you're killing a creation. So spiritually, karmically, it hurts you by ingesting it if it's got a heart and a face. Ancient man knew this, and we evolved just fine without eating meat. Again, it's a tough tough battle, but want to change your life, your universe, change your diet. The body is evolving as well. You don't really realize how much you're capable of doing on this earth when when the time comes. And that really won't accelerate until the firmament is gone or the Van Allen belts. Okay, At that point in time, much of the world will perish because it, it hasn't kept pace with the evolution. It's just exposed as something from the outside. It's going, uh, it's going, it's not going to stick. It's going to go back to its previous or even worse state, or it's going to be distorted like it was many times in the past. Uh, they have seen this many times in the past. They have tried different methods. Guys, that's what's happened all through the ages on Earth. They are the angels. They are the ones that sent the visions back in time. The world doesn't understand. They were trying to help people. All through the ages. Like, oh yeah, I guess so, right? They would send a vision, they would try and help, they would they would just be in the background. But the people would take it because of their beliefs. And yes, God's going to punish you because we're the, like no, I told you, you know, stop you know, wash your hands after you poo. That was them trying to help the world. It, the world took it and lends the truth. So the message got lost and distorted over the ages. They're giving uh, pure facts now on ways, and again, it's personal choice, guys. If you want to keep eating these things, stop complaining about the universe. Complain, 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 but you don't change your life. You're like, well, I need 5G. I got to have you know, fast porn, right? Okay. Well, you're not in the fight. You're not changing the world because the almighty dollar speaks. The world is going to need some true heroes and voices and uh, in time. They will arise. You will see the power, but that true potential can only be expressed once your temple is the way it, God intended it to be. Genetically modified food and, and uh, you know, right, that's the problem. But it, the beginnings is knowledge. And when you awaken with a bit of knowledge, and I know, guys, I've changed a, a lot of lives on my own channel, that, uh, you know, they wake up, but it, you begin to see, right? And person to person to person in time, it'll be a mass movement, but it's just the awakening at first. It's not about believing anything Naughty Beaver said is the Bible or fact. It's just, yeah, there's something more to this world. There's something